What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. We're rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout all of the summer 2021 transfer window. So if you want to stay up to date first and fast with the latest Manchester City transfer news, then do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. I am aiming for 19,000 subscribers we're less than 500 subs away, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget, also, you can find my social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video. Aiming for 400 likes once more. If we could hit that, that would be brilliant. Also, don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you made of these transfers. And lastly, don't forget to uh, go and follow me on my Twitch if you so wish. Link to that in the description below. Without further ado, let's crack on with this video. We're going to start off with the outs and we've got an update on Liam Delap. Now, contrary, uh, contrary to belief um, that Liam Delap, he was set to stay at Manchester City. Now it's been reported that uh, he may well be loaned out again by Manchester City. Quite frankly, uh, he's going to have pre-season at Man City and Man City are going to assess uh, just how likely it is for him to get minutes. And if Man City signed a striker this season, I can see Liam Delap heading out on loan. Now, Lancashire Live, they're reporting that Liam Delap is wanted by Preston North End. He's on their radar and they want to sign him on loan until the end of the season for Preston to boost their uh, attack. Now, Preston North End have set out an ultimatum to uh, to Manchester City uh, and said that they have got other targets in mind. So ASAP, they would like word on whether he is going to be loaned or not so they can have a look at other contingencies instead as they're looking to prepare for their season. I'm not too sure why I was laughing about that and uh, Preston putting out their demands. Uh, buying clubs are well within their rights to, to, to give selling clubs uh, their situation on when they're trying to bring players in. And ideally, you want to be bringing players in so they can have a couple of pre-season uh, friendlies and be ready ready for the start of the season. You don't want to bring players in uh, when you've already played three or four games and them have, they haven't gone to plan because you haven't got a striker. You want to bring that striker in beforehand so they're settled in, they know the systems, they know what they're doing so they're good to go from the first game rather than four or five games in. Otherwise you're wasting four or five games and I think that's what Preston are looking for. I just don't think Man City will be in that position to loan out Liam Delap uh, in the early stages of uh, the transfer window and I can see if he is loaned out uh, being right towards the end of the transfer the window will press them wait that long that remains to be seen I imagine there will be other clubs that would be interested should Manchester City make it known that Liam Delap is available for loan now moving on to our final update on the outs comes in the form of a very interesting update on Yangle Herrera. Now he's a, a, attracting interest from the Premier League. This is coming from reliable information from Martin Blackburn who works for The Sun. Uh, and apparently Manchester City, they're willing to listen to offers for Yangle Herrera this summer with Premier League interest there. That means a good bit of money for Manchester City. And it's been reported that Manchester City want around £20 million for Yangle Herrera, which I think would be a really good deal from City's end. It would also take our sales up towards £70 million for the summer if Yangle Herrera is sold for £20 million. And with there being a fair amount of interest as well, West Ham, Leeds United and Southampton have all been linked with Yangle Herrera. There could be a little bidding war going on there. And I would say around £20 million would be would be uh, around an acceptable fee for Yangle Herrera. He's had a couple of great seasons in uh, in La Liga. And quite, quite frankly, I think it's a big shame that we'd be using a potential talent like Yangle. I think he's a really good defensive midfielder with Fernandinho probably not going to have a new contract after this season. Uh, I feel like Yangle Herrera giving him a season of experience in the Premier League would be really good because it would give us an indication that if Yangle Herrera, for example, signed for Leeds and he had an outstanding season for Leeds playing in defence and midfield, then all of a sudden Man City have got themselves a, a good Premier League proven defensive midfielder ready to come in and uh, take uh, over the range from Fernandinho. We could even have Yangle Herrera come into the team uh, and learn from Fernandinho uh, if we had enough room, obviously, for a non-homegrown player to be registered uh, I just think he's a top talent and it'd be a big shame to lose uh, to lose him and so if he is sold by Manchester City I am hoping there would be a really good buyback clause put out uh, put onto that deal uh, and also you would want a sell on fee as well because I rate him I think he's a really good player I think he'd be a really big loss for Manchester City but I'll keep my eyes and ears open for what happens with updates with Yangle Herrera now Moving on to the ins, Manchester City, they have signed 
signed a player, so when people come to me and say it's really quiet and Man City haven't done any business, well, they have. They have done a little bit of business. I've actually got two signings for Manchester City in this video. First of them, though, comes uh, in the form of George Murray-Jones. You're going to be thinking, who's that? He's a 16-year-old goalkeeper, signed for Manchester City from Southend United. He signed on a scholarship for Manchester City, and he will turn professional when he turns 17, which will more than likely come next summer when I do my next big list of players that have turned professional at uh, Manchester City. But welcome, George, wishing him all the very best on his move to Manchester and playing with Manchester City, and I'm hoping he's going to have a long and prosperous career at Manchester City, and that would be fantastic, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do uh, behind the sticks. Now, moving on, we've got an update on Danny Ings. TalkSport, they're saying that Danny Ings, he wants to leave Southampton this summer. Surprise. Uh, and he has his eyes on a move to Manchester. He said he would like a move to either City or United. Not really bothered which, which doesn't really fill me with great confidence. Man City like to sign players that want to sign for Man City only. Not just, I want to move to Manchester and play for one of the two Manchester clubs. Isn't really how things work. I mean, I'd like to go and play for, for Manchester City. There we go. Doesn't mean that is going to happen. Uh, but, to be fair, I would like Danny Ings at Manchester City. But that is only if Gabriel Jesus leaves. Because that means we then haven't got an out-and-out -out striker at the club at this moment in time with Aguero already heading out to Barcelona on a free contract. Uh, so I would like to bring in some experience and having Danny Ings as a rotated option is a good option out there. Uh, I would also like us to go out there and go and sign a top-class striker. That has to be the priority. If that means not signing Danny Ings, then so be it. I think we need to be pushing for harder for, to sign Harry Kane, in my opinion. Uh, apparently £150 million is what Spurs are looking for. City willing to pay 100 million pounds we're not see if we can get something sorted uh, because i feel like uh, harry kane's the missing piece in man city's jigsaw to get goals back going for manchester city and pushes on to become even better than what we already are and looking for that first illustrious champions league trophy as well uh, but that is just me if i was in charge at Manchester City. Now, moving on to a very interesting story that's developing in the form of Nuno Mendes. I thought this was dead in the water, then it resurfaced uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I've not really made much of it, but we've had more details now, and these details are really interesting. Fabrizio Romano, it's reliable, he's confirmed Manchester City are interested in signing Nuno Mendes from Sporting Club de Portugal this summer. Sporting Lisbon, uh, or Sporting Club de Portugal, or um, Sporting CP, whatever you want to call them. I know they don't like being called Sporting Lisbon. Their fans have informed me of that. I'm just uh, that's what they're known as here in England, just to let people be familiar. But I will be calling them Sporting CP. Uh, but they're wanting 50 million euros for uh, Nuno Mendes. Manchester City are believed to be wanting to pay around 30 million euros for him. And apparently, Man City will not be willing to go above that to get that sorted. I know that Sporting are interested in signing Pedro Porro from Manchester City. And I do feel like if Man City maybe would go a little bit above 30 million euros. Plus Pedro Porro, I feel like that could be enough to perhaps even get that deal done. And after all, the majority of time when Manchester City have gone to Portugal and brought players in, they've ended up being an outstanding success. Let's not talk about Eloquim Mangala, OK? Uh, but, yeah, every time we've gone to Portugal, they've been, they've been pretty solid signings. Uh, I'm talking players like Edison, like Ruben Diaz. These have been top quality players. And if Man City rate Nuno Mendes, then I'm happy to trust their instincts and their, their judgments as well. And I do feel like €30 million, Euros, maybe give or take 5 to €10 million, Euros, uh, is a fair deal to sign an 18-year-old who's had uh, one season playing at the top level in Portugal. It was enough for them to win the uh, the top division prize as well, winning the title there in Portugal as well. So I feel like he is a, a good player that's got potential there and gives Man City something to work with, someone that we can bread in and become uh, our solution that we've been looking for for so long at, uh, at left-back. Now, I will add that a left-back will only be signed by Manchester City this summer if Benjamin Mendy leaves. The only other option Man City have if Benjamin Mendy doesn't leave is if we sign um, Nuno Mendes and then decide to leave him out, out uh, sorry, on loan at Sporting for another season and then bring him in next summer. Man City faced the problem that Benjamin Mendy is going to be pretty hard to shift on. It would be easier for us to be able to loan him out. However, Man City would be looking for a permanent transfer and if that is the case, Man City would probably be selling for cheap, which upsteps Italy. They like signing players from the Premier League for cheap and 
and trying to turn their careers around and try and make them into uh, a big success again. They've done it so many times. Edin Dzeko on the cheap, for example, uh, AS Roma, what an outstanding signing he has been. They picked up Kohler off from us as well uh, on the cheap as well, and he seems to have uh, worked out well for uh, AS Roma too. And Inter Milan are interested in signing Benjamin Mendy, and I've, as I've said in other videos, I think Benjamin Mendy would be a great signing for Inter Milan, and I think it'd be a really good fit for them for him to uh, get his career back on track and where he wants it to be. Uh, however, this story is over a week old and we've not had any update on that since. So I'm wondering if there is anything more than just interest in Benjamin Mendy. But again, I'll keep my eyes and ears open for any developments on that. Uh, but Benjamin Mendy, if it starts looking more and more like he might head for the uh, exit door, then uh, obviously Nuno Mendes becomes a lot more likely for Manchester City. We'll see. City definitely are interested, but uh, will it get anything more is the case. And considering Man City look like the crunching numbers with it, shows that the interest is genuine and they are taking the transfer very seriously. Now, moving on to our final story. Uh, it's Man City's second signing of the video. Comes in the form of Scott Carson. We haven't really had too much official on this, but he has turned up for first team training which means it is official he has joined Manchester City on a free contract from Derby County so welcome Scott Carson uh, hopefully he can go on to make another appearance for Manchester City after his debut that he made of course uh, against Newcastle in the Premier League so welcome Scott wishing him all the best and it's nice that it is a permanent transfer and not a loan instead so there we go that has been the video I hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy this video leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video 400 likes once more is the like goal can we hit that that would be great leave your thoughts as well of what you made of these transfers would you be happy with Nuno Mendes replacing Benjamin Mendy let me know your thoughts Danny Ing would you take him let me know don't forget also to put your well wishes in the comments for George Murray Jones and also Scott Carson two goalkeepers signing for Manchester City as well and do let me know your thoughts on Yangel Herrera and a potential 20 million pound transfer to another Premier League club and Liam Delap would you loan him let me know in the comments below don't forget also to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already stay up to date every single day with the latest manchester city transfer news throughout the summer transfer window i know you want to it's very interesting look going to be lots of developments it's going to be an interesting uh what ne next couple of months for manchester city and transfers so do subscribe if you haven't already 19k subscribers less than 500 subs away can we get there asap that would be absolutely brilliant and also don't forget my social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries and do go and follow me on my twitch as well link in the description and i'll see you guys again tomorrow for the next manchester city transfer update i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now <laughs>